Hello, Lego lovers. This is a bit different, and my name is L. And this set is a Belleville set, which came out in 2008, so it's a little old. Um, set number 7586, four numbers. Supposedly 450 pieces. I bought this used, but I believe for the most part it is complete. I'm not 100% sure, but you'll get the gist of the whole entire set. Um, for the most part, everything is here. And it's weird, because it's a different scale than normal LEGO. And with that, let's start with the um, Mega Dolls, we'll call them. Okay, so this is a Lego figure. This is the mom from the set, I believe. And the face print is very similar to Lego Friends in a way. Um, the printing on the upper part's nice. Um, and then they have this cloth-like skirt part. Um, they have more... Um, yeah, these are a little weird. Um, flexibility and points of articulation than your normal Lego minifigure, as you can see. And their hands and arms can spin around and look horrible. Um, and their legs actually have joints too, as you can see. And they can really pose awkwardly if you so choose flying kick somehow um yeah so overall as a lego thing this is weird as a doll i don't know um it's like a mixture of the two and it makes it a little bit more weird but i guess it's a doll that works with lego parts so i guess that's a positive actually um, this is obviously cloth, or some sort of cloth. You can put accessories, actually, on her shoes and on her hair. The same whole size, as far as I can tell, as the Lego Friends, as I have an experimental fire piece here. So, yeah. Okay. So, that's the mom figure, I believe. Uh, I don't know how to rate it or anything so i'm gonna set it aside and go on to what appears to be the dad again they virtually have the same posability options um he is wearing some crude jeans that are super baggy and has kind of a weird printed top and two spoons because he really likes spoons um yeah maybe he's a karate master I'm not sure, but like I said, same type of figure, printing similar on the face, nothing too fancy really, um, weird shirt print, um, yeah. Um, he can have accessories on his shoes too, I guess, and on his head, okay, so that's the mega figures. There's kind of one other one, and it's the baby, uh, very plain. Uh, weird looking face-ish. I don't think I've seen any kids that look like that. Um, this bib can come off. Just kind of clips around the neck. No real posability. I do believe if he can drop his spoons, you can know anything. I thought you could. Well, I guess not. Maybe you, well, you can. Okay, they can go there. You can, yep, it's kind of awkward to hold. It doesn't have any points. Yeah, uh, I don't like it at all. Um, it has some accessories. We'll kind of look at that later. The first accessory here is this very crude, awkwardly, horribly to use built high chair. This slides out fairly easily. You have this big, giant milk bottle, and it's it's on a ladder. Yeah, Legos come a long way. That's something I can say. Also, we have the adorable teddy bear. You can just imagine this at night walking towards you, animated without anyone touching it. And it just wants a hug. Just a cute little teddy bear looking for a hug. Yep, so those are kind of the figures. Let's kind of get into the build, which to me is quite a bit more interesting. 
This is like an outside chair. Very simple. It looks weird because it's built for bigger figures, but it's alright. Um, you got some lime green and some white on there. Nothing too special, really. Now this is kind of the outside grill, um, which is actually kind of a nice build. Obviously, we're looking at different scales here for what stuff is built for. And this has an interesting light feature, which I was unbelievably uh, surprised when it still worked. Um, so you can imagine the grill fire kind of going there and roasting those chicken or turkey legs. Um, you got a little accessory clip, probably missing a spatula or something. But yeah, it works. You get the light. Looks like a grill. I think they also have the option that you can place it on the fireplace. Um, so we'll look at doing that when we get around to that. But we have the bedroom thing house. We'll start at the top. So as my camera is not built for this, you can see we have, oh my gosh, a top level here, which is rather small. Um, it looks like a little reaction relaxation area. Maybe it's actually on the roof, but you can see a radio, which is a sticker. Um, you got a table. Love that goblet piece, actually. That's one of the nice things about these older sets. They have some of those weirder old um, type parts. You can see another chair up there, which is built exactly the same. We have this interesting teapot. Sits on one stud. Yeah, just weird parts. I like the magenta part under there. And obviously this is interesting. It's one big part. And these three flower parts are really nice to see too. We'll get back down on this level here. Zoom in. Because this is the master bedroom, we'll say. So as we can see, I don't know if this is supposed to be a TV or a little Lego box. We got an interesting lamp, which is kind of an interesting part there with that chrome um or kind of chrome type part we have these big pink lattices that they use a lot here this is cloth and it just kind of plops on this flat plate and these are supposed to be pillows which eh, okay sure <laughs> um but yeah we just got a flat plate here for the bed effectively without that cushioning but you can see some white mini figure heads down here which is kind of neat um i do believe i'm missing some accessories that are supposed to be on here this is a sticker that's a sticker i like the white window piece but they don't include glass in it which is a little awkward then we go over to the baby bedroom effectively and again, we have another, like, cloth blanket here. Just a little cloth rolled up blanket. Um, so you can imagine this is the baby crib, which is a little weird. Stickers all bound. This is the porta potty I believe. Um, again, stickers. Um, now, this does slide out, which is kind of neat, and I'll look at that a little later. We have a little lamp. Interesting color for that head. Um... And then we have some dresser stickers. And again, more windows with no nothing in it. One of the highlights of this set, as I might say, is up here. Sparkly dark pink transparent bricks. Big fan of that, I have to say. Um, there's a couple in here, not like a ridiculous amount, but it's still just a neat thing that's in here. But that is the kids' room. And then we'll go back down on the floor here. I believe this is going to be your bathroom. Um, you kind of have the illusion of a shower here. Hot, cold. Um, not a whole lot going on here. Soap with stickers on. Square toilet. <sighs> really, really awkward sized and bad toilet in my mind. Yeah, when I built that, I was like, what? Interesting parts, though, um, with the hinges like that. This is the sink, which is kind of interesting. We have dark blue bricks, which I like. We have sticker mirror here. We got some, like, candle light going on. We got a weird sink cabinet piece. Um, a brush in there. 
Otherwise, these are blue plates, actual Lego plates, which is kind of crazy. Now, this flips like this, which you could use as a play feature, I guess. Although it puts the bathroom kind of in the living room, which is a little awkward. It does put the kids' room closer to the parents' room, although there's a big gap that baby could fall out of. But on the outside down here, we have uh, some kind of uh, greenery. As you can see, Lego has come a long way in their building. This this is the sink part sticking out on the outside. You wouldn't see that anymore. We do have kind of a neat little sticker here, which is a little awkward for it to be on the wall. Um, yeah. So, but let's kind of move around. Continuing with the awkwardness, there's a gap in the bathroom. I am pretty sure I built it correctly. Let me check the instructions right now, because I can. And pretty sure there's not supposed to be a gap. Uh, no, I think there is a gap. Yep, that's pretty awkward. Uh, yeah, I don't know what Lego was thinking back in these days. Yeah, um, we got some more stickers for grass down there. Not too special. I guess this random open area might be the front door. Um, you got the pink lattice. We'll put this here because I think that should work. But let's look at the biggest room in the house, which is the kitchen slash living room slash dining room, which is down on the bottom here. So here is the fireplace. So you got your light feature. That kind of looks cool. Um, you got some pictures, which are awful stickers. Um, they look really bad, in my opinion. Um, you got... A weird couch that looks hard to sit on you got again more stickers just decorations containers um, the dining table is really interesting because it's like trans light blue um, for some reason but you got candlesticks I assume this is jello and a sausage and a croissant on gold plates which I think is kind of interesting and we have those magenta chairs, which is another kind of interesting thing. Those dark pink cups. And then the little kitchen area here has a you know, fairly nicely built oven, to be honest. I can't argue or complain about that. Um, it, the, the stickers are poor. I don't know why you'd put pink. That's kind of a poor sticker. We have a coffee maker. Um, another goblet. Some more dishes in the sink. Um, we got a pan, which whoever used this made this before, I believe, used like poster putty to stick things to it. So maybe they had it as a display model. Um, we also get this interesting jug here of water ish, I guess, here. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll just leave that there. That goblet up there is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so. Uh, I bought this used, and I have to say I'm glad I bought it used. I don't want it new. It is part of Lego's history, I guess you could say. It's weird, in my mind, would be the easiest way to say it, which doesn't make it bad. Um, interesting Lego parts, I guess you could say. I would say that that is the number one highlight for this set and kind of why I was interested in it. So basically, like, parts-wise, you get these pink windows, which is great. You get a lot of these, uh, like, trans light blue um, bricks. Like I said, you get lots of those pink windows here. Um, you also get that um, dark pink bay window. You get lots of these pink lattice parts, which are kind of cool. Um, you get these big bricks, you get these base plates, you get these pink flowers, which might not be as rare anymore. You get these magenta parts, which are fairly rare. Trans light blue table, which is kind of rare. Gold plates, which are rare. The goblets, which are a little bit rare. Um, and the three leaf green parts are a little rare. So there's quite a few rare parts in here. 
Also, pillows that are, they don't feel really fluffy, to be honest. I wouldn't want to put my head on that. So, this is uh, pretty much my review. It's kind of a bigger set, if you think about it. But, I don't know. It would be interesting, actually, to see someone build this in Lego minifigure scale. Maybe that's a project I can add to my list. Um, but, the, the whole, this mechanism I don't understand. There's so much building things that are questionable so i will say that lego has come a long way um to not leaving random gaps even though that like this whole side's a gap i guess you could say but like this is just awkward having a door there that's not really anything also there's i just noticed there's a door in the bedroom outside to the ground up from the second pl yeah um this looks really bad to be honest maybe as a young girl it would be more entertaining but even so like i would rather just get a lego friend set i won't lie um yeah i think i'm gonna wrap this up this is an awkward set i don't think i'm gonna keep it together i don't think so just because like i said there's a lot of neat parts in here um this base plates i mean there's just a lot of neat parts in here that's kind of what attracted me to initially the set but it's also kind of nice to have some of lego history that might be a little bit weirder um yeah i'm not gonna play with these but uh yeah um i think that's pretty much it for this review as i've probably said already i just want to say thank you for watching if you watch this video drop any comments maybe you have memories of this set or, you know, whatever your comments are, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you could. I would really appreciate that. And as usual, thank you again for watching. See, he just wants a little hug.